Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all FIFA games released for Java. Enjoy the video. EA Sports FIFA Football 2003 Mobile International Edition is a good start, but I don't recommend you to play the game now. The game is good only to see how the game was. The game is limited to 16 international teams, each with a 15-man squad, and the game has only two game modes, friendly and tournament. The game doesn't have that much content, the controls are clunky, but gameplay-wise you can squeeze some fun out of it if you don't have any other good football game by you. And you have to judge the game in context. In 2003, you would have been happy to just have something to play on your phone. I mean, it was a wonder to have a game on your phone and not really be that pretentious of how the game is. FIFA Football 2004 Mobile International Edition brings new graphics and new game modes. Now the game has a training mode and a penalty kick mode. Gameplay wise the game is the same as the first iteration. FIFA Soccer 2005 Mobile International Edition brings updated rosters and new and improved graphics. The stats of the players have been updated, in rest you get the same content, but the packaging is better, I mean the controls and the graphics are better. And this makes the game better overall. There are the same game modes as in the previous game, there are no local clubs, only some national teams, but hey, even if compared to the other games the game didn't bring any new game modes, the graphics and the better controls make the game way more better than previous iterations. FIFA 06 has largely the same gameplay and content. The sets are different though, but what brings new is that 2006 brought also the first 3D FIFA game, which has the same content as the 2D version, but it's 3D and this makes the game fresh. I mean, you get 3D graphics on Java. If your phone can handle it, the game is amazing graphically, but the controls are kinda sloppy, not only for that time but especially in comparison to the 2D version, so yeah, it comes with a price. If you want 3D graphics, the controls will be worse. FIFA World Cup Germany 2006, according to Moby Games, features largely identical gameplay but with some improvements in terms of goalkeeper AI and ball dynamics as well as dry and wet weather effects that affect the speed of the ball and the accuracy of passes and shots. The main difference is that it allows the player to play through the full World Cup competition with any of the 32 competing national teams. It replaces the cup and scenario game modes of FIFA 2006 with the more thematic World Cup Germany 2006. FIFA 7 brings some improvements. First off the graphics, then the control scheme. The controls have been simplified to make the game more enjoyable. In game modes, a new mode makes its appearance. The scenario mode, where you get specific objectives to complete. Also there are new teams in the game. This is the first mobile FIFA game to include club teams and not just national teams. Also all Premier League teams, League 1, Bundesliga, La Liga and Serie A teams are available and fully licensed. FIFA 8 improves the maneuverability and also adds a sprint key. And you get text based commentary. According to Moby Games, you can also, the game also uses a database of player attributes from the console version. Another new feature is inform players who are randomly selected ahead of each match and get heightened abilities. FIFA 9 has a different camera angle than the other games, as you can see from the video. Moby Games also says that the game has improved animations and frame rates. Also when shooting or tackling, you now get a power bar. And you can now use skill moves, such as 360 pirouettes and step overs, and also you can do 1-2s by double tapping the pass button. Also the game introduces something minor, the My Team feature, which means that at the start of the game you choose your favorite team 
and that will be your default theme when you play friendly matches. FIFA 10 introduces a new game mode, the Be A Pro game mode, where you create your own character and play matches. At the end of each match, your player's attributes get better, and you get offers to switch to better teams. Also now the cup mode can be customized. 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa is a reskin of FIFA 10. It has the same gameplay and features, only that this game is World Cup themed. FIFA 11 is a reskin of FIFA 10. Gameplay wise, the game is the same. There are some differences in rosters, but otherwise, in terms of features, it's still FIFA 10. FIFA 12 changes the camera angle. The camera is farther away. Also, now the characters print automatically. In game modes, there are no changes, but you still get the wealth of game modes from the previous games. Friendly, Training, Season, Virtual Pro, My Cup, Free Kick Challenge and Penalties. So the game is still very feature rich, even if it's um, the same in game modes as previous iterations. FIFA 13 is almost the same as FIFA 12. As improvements, it brings the option of Auto Pass, so if you activate Auto Pass in the game, the game decides automatically if your button press should be a direct pass or a through ball. FIFA 14, aside of the updated rosters and menus, is the same game as FIFA 13. FIFA World Cup Brazil 2014 is the same game as FIFA 14, only that this game is World Cup themed. We get different scenarios, different teams, but uh, gameplay wise it's the same game as FIFA 14. But even if the game engine is the same as in FIFA 14, you still get mini games. Ok penalty kicks you had in FIFA 14 too, but the other two are new. And also the menus look really good. In FIFA 15, instead of European second divisions, the game adds the Turkish Super League, the Mexican Liga Bancomer MX and the Brazilian Primera Division. The camera angle has been moved farther away. In rest, the game is the same as FIFA 14, which was the same as FIFA 13. In FIFA 16, the Argentine Primera Division was replaced by the Brazilian League. In rest, gameplay wise, it's the same game as FIFA 15. FIFA Street 2 is a decent port. It's not as flashy as the original game, but it's a decent imitation. You play 4-on-4, four four, and you can do some tricks in this game too, but they are harder to pull off. The game has only two game modes, Friendly and Roll the Street. The latter mode involves creating a team and play matches to earn cash. The cash can be used to buy players and upgrade the team's abilities. By increasing the team's skill rating, the team can enter a cup and, complete and compete against various teams of different locations around the world. The game is decent, but compared to the source material, meaning the original game on PS2, it isn't all that good when you compare it to the PS2 version, which is kind of obvious, but I still wanted to state it. FIFA Street 3 is a soccer RPG. The game is a series of 6 minigames. You can roam a map and access those 6 minigames, but unfortunately after you've played all 6 minigames and the novelty runs out, the only thing keeping you playing or keeping you wanting to play is wanting to beat your own score. But I can't lie that the game is unique and nicely made. FIFA Manager 8 isn't all that interesting, especially if you jump from the PC version to this one. The game is entirely text based, which is disappointing, especially when you see that Real Football Manager, the competition, is much more interactive and even offers a match that plays in front of you. Instead, in FIFA Manager, all you get is text. You can take control of a team of one of the 10 leagues and read matches instead of seeing them play in front of you. You can buy and sell players, set the formation of the players. The game is ok only if you don't know what the competition can offer. Real Football Manager is in another league compared to this game. 
FIFA Manager 10 adds more images to the text, but it still can't compete with real Football Manager. As additions, you have more options when training your players and you can praise, encourage or criticize your players. FIFA Manager 12 has the same gameplay as the previous title. The only difference is that now you get two new leagues, the Brazilian and Mexican league, which replace so you don't get more, you just get different content. So the two leagues, the Brazilian and Mexican league, replace the European second divisions. And these are all official entries from EA. Other games for Java are mods, made to replicate the experience of other EA games. And now a bonus one. It's not an official entry, but a fan made. Let's review it too. Ok, so FIFA goal is terrible. The lack of animations not only that make the game less appealing, but they also make the game more difficult to play. All you do is shoot, or rather tap, to score. The game is bad. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.